Hey guys, still here, and welcome back for what is episode 22. Now, we have some new operatives. Uh, we have Mark, sorry, Martin Sandberg in training for Psy Operative. Uh, Reef is Psy Operative. We have Dexter Combine training for Specialist. Uh, aside from that, we got Lorenzo and Willem on a mission together. We have uh, Adrian on sharpshooter duty, same for apple pie. So I'm trying to get as many of you guys in as possible. Um, again, if you haven't seen me add you yet, then leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can find you in the group pool. Keep in mind I'm recording most of these episodes quite a few days in advance, so if you leave a comment today it's not like you're going to be added tomorrow. That's unfortunately not how it works. Anyway, let's get back to doing missions. And preferably the chosen stronghold. Uh, we got that. We were going for a scientist, I believe. Done in two days. Good. Now, before I move off to another scanning location, I first want to see if my alpha team is ready to go. Because if it is, then we're going to kill a chosen. 47 out of 57 for Joey... 44, 44, 42, 45, 41. Well, he's not coming on the mission. Um, yeah, I think we can get it done. Let's go kill a Chosen. And the one that we have available is the Assassin. Which, to be honest, has not appeared on a mission lately. She seems to be rather quiet. Alright, these things are tough. So we're gonna remove everybody. We're gonna unequip the barracks, make sure everybody's ready. Joey. And your bondmate, Daniel. The trick here is to maximize your damage output. Absolutely, positively maximize it. And rangers can do just that. Rangers can do a lot of damage. So if you see me stocking up on a lot of rangers, that's why. Sharpshooters in this mission are not particularly useful. Mostly because these maps just don't lend themselves for well to sharpshooters. I would love to bring Ike, especially considering he has rupture shot. But he is at 41 out of 50, so he's at 80%, which is not really high enough. Uh, grenadiers can also do quite a bit of damage. Especially with run and gun, that's another action that could be very handy this mission. We do have a specialist. Um, they take additional damage from Reapers. But Gertrude is completely out of action. She's really tired. And Elena... Oh, she would basically require me to bring her bondmate as well. Which I don't really want to do. Um, I could bring Claire... And then leave Hartman at home. Let's see, does anybody have more action points or more ability points? Hollow targeting, death from above. I'm looking for rupture. And at the moment, nobody has rupture. Daring? No. Nope. Serial, though. For every kill made, your actions will be refunded. Mmm. Pretty powerful skill. DFA. Threat assess. Volatile mix. Lightning reflexes. All of these are nice to have, but none of them are really convincing. Rupture. It's expensive. 25 ability points from the pool, but it's worth it. And I think that at this point we have so few AP remaining, especially in the shared pool, that we're not going to be able to do anything. Okay, so let's equip. You're going to get your standard weapon. That's the one which has the superior scope. You're also built as mostly medic, I think. Yep. Time to equip the other medic. I'm going to go in with six medkits. You could argue that's a bit much. 
but I'd rather be safe than sorry. As for the other item, I could have those guys use the Mimic Beacons. There. Uh, we have Daniel. Daniel with his extraordinarily deadly weapon. Superior scope, advanced magazine, and superior autoloader. As for grenades, I want acid. I want... Uh, where's the other one? Two acids? No. The gas grenade. Unless... Our other grenadiers train... No. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so you're going to get another acid grenade. We're going to get you another improved weapon as well. If we have any. One stock? That's all I have for you? Really? Don't you have any weapon upgrades lying around? See, superior laser sight, autoloader. That's the stuff. Um, in that case, I'm going to just go with one of the newer weapons of sorts. UMG-60. Basically the M60. 256 saw. Uh, 45... PSK. Hmm. I like the 50, 256, the saw. So let's equip that with. No, not laser sight. An advanced scope. Making sure we hit advanced uh, autoloader. And an expanded mag. Not all of these have um, models rendered for them, as you can see. As for your weapon. Or your ammo type. I'm going to go with AP rounds. They both have shredder, so that both is going to be very handy. As for your weapon type, or your ammo type, we could give you tracer rounds. And then our rangers. Our damage dealers. Talon rounds. And venom rounds. Weapon-wise, I'm going to say we're going to pick one of our supreme shotguns. Uh, laser sights, superior repeater. Ooh. See, the superior repeater is very handy, but so is the advanced hair trigger. I'm going to go with this one. And then I'm going to give you the hazmat vest. And I'm going to give you a mind shield. Actually, we're going to swap, swap those around. Because I cannot have major over here be mind controlled. I'm not sure if they even have those aliens on the map, but I'd rather not risk it. And for you, we're going to go with this sledgehammer. We need to rename that thing, by the way, otherwise we might not be able to recognize it. Uh, I'm going to call this sledge, <coughs> so we know that that is the upgraded weapon. Okay, mimic beacons, one and two, check. Grenades, check. Ammo, check. Mind shield, medics, check. Let's go get it chosen. In position to drop. This could be a really long mission, this one. I did this mission on my own playthrough, which is a playthrough where I'm using Beta Strike. Now, Beta Strike is an, uh, not an ability, but it's a game feature where your hit points are doubled, and so are the alien's hit points, so you cannot really quickly go through the target. You cannot really quickly go through missions. The first time I went up against the assassin that I did this mission, it took me, I think, 60 to 90 minutes. I hope that I will not be taking that long this time around. Because that mission was a total slugfest. Time for us to finally take and it took me forever. Intel on this facility is almost non-existent. In fact, you may be the first human beings to step foot inside these walls. This may not be the most ideal situation, but it could be our only chance to take one of these things out. Good. The weapons that these guys give you? Oh my god. Okay, people. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today. Correct. No what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than 
any of your kind. Pride the your death this day honors the elder. Stack up. An assassin, shut up. They don't have a room there. There's another two doors over there. This might be another big door, or those big loading doors. Daniel? That's a big door, but it's closed. It's a beautiful day. How would you know? You're inside a complex. Alright, I want to sweep that way. Try and clear it. Stack up. We'll be the judge of that. Over there? Okay. Oh, hello. That's a priest well, we and a mech. Here today. Let's take these out. I see four of them. Blade storm. Nice. Went off the Good armor. damage there. They're moving around the side. Ready up. I had counseled the elders to show patience with your race. Yet here you now stand. Right. Mm, we might be able to control it with Joey. That would be interesting. It's not really a high hit point unit. Not anymore. Ah. No thanks. The priest and the mech are my primary priorities. Um, who do we have and where? There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Okay. Just indexing what we have and where. I could have Attila come in, um, do a shotgun blast, but it won't kill him. That's the problem. If I mess him up first, I might be able to kill him with a shotgun round. It's not ideal. Who has the Talon rounds? You do. Okay, Attila. I'll be back. 85. This should kill him. Yeah, I'll put him in stasis, that is. Technically, that killed him. At least it knocked him out of the fight for one turn. Um, I can hit both of these with a grenade. grenade. And especially the second bit's important. I can now hit them. Because what I want to do is come in with Fatal. Slash them up. That's one. Hostile target down. Makes him implacable. Hang I'm gonna out. park him right next to the other one so that if he runs away, he's gonna get hit by the uh, blade storm. That's the mech down. Now we have Lord. Um, I'm gonna put you in Overwatch. Because that priest is gonna come back up. He's gonna try and run away. And then he should have... Oh, never mind. <laughs> blade storm. Love it. Okay, and he gets hit by the blade storm. What? Hang on, both of them missed? The blade storm missed? That was unexpected. That was really unexpected. Bladestorm really 
rarely fails me like that. Hmm. So Fiddle just lost five hit points. Right, there's nothing here. There's no door there, that's the map edge. So we're gonna stack up to the next. Daniel. And Attila. Nice night for a walk. What's behind door number three? Oh, chrysalids! Oh, joy. The good news? Chrysalids always bunch up. <laughs> right at the blade storm. Uh, we can detonate something here. That's gonna hurt one of them. But not that much. I think our rangers are gonna have to carry this one. Because Bladestorm, provided they're weakened enough, should be able to knock out most of them. Let's make sure you're invulnerable to the first attack. That's one. I won! <laughs> <laughs> Just that sound effect. Oh, that's fantastic. Um. Dead eye. No, not on that thing. Silly. Okay. As much damage as possible. I need to weaken them first. Otherwise, the blade storms will not be enough. Oh, Claire. You had an immense chance to hit, and you just blew it. See, that's better. Hit point check. Two, two, and six. So we're gonna have to hurt one of these guys a little bit more. And I think it's gonna have to be you. This will probably outright kill him, though. Yep. Alright, Blade Storms, work your magic. Promotion! Looks like the corp hasn't quite materialized yet. Okay. Bring it. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Blade Storm. And he attacks, but he doesn't get a hit because he's invulnerable. The Blade Storm misses? Son of a bitch. Again? Is a fucking asshole. Indeed. Hmm. Still, the blade storms against these guys are an ideal solution. Um, this is a pretty big room. Looks like they have drop ships. We might not be the only ones here. So I'm going to set up some overwatches and get ready for what might be another group coming in here. I'm on it. On Seems doable. Daring, hold your position. And I want you to heal up. Fatal. He's still at 11 hit points, so he should be fine, but I don't want to take any chances. Okay. He's down to half his willpower, though. Clear. Looks like we're alone. There's another door over here, and over there. This room has fancier tiling, though. By the looks of it. And there's another room over there. It's gonna take a while to clear this facility. The Iceman cometh! Yeah, their sound effects are still quite loud. Okay, I'll go. Okay, sweep this way. Humanity's sacrifice will be great, but so too shall be its rewards. Submit to me now, XCOM. Ensure the future of 
about your people. No problem, boss. Okay. Come get some. I'm on it. Where are the bad guys? We're probably gonna get a sound cue soon. Daniel? We do not seek to kill and destroy. You project your own failings upon us. Room might be empty. I'm gonna swap or I'm gonna divide the team up into two groups. Two units of three, so we can hit this room at the same time. Um one more grenadier there. A specialist there. Specialist here. Whatever you say. Ranger there. Okay. I'm not hearing any mech stomping around anymore. I think this is where we need to go. Alright, once more, stack up. What the hell? This is not a door? I can just see through the wall? Okay. In that case, we're gonna have to go the other way. We're gonna have to go through that chamber. Wild man, come back here. We need wild man back on the squad first. What about these reloads? Let's get some reloads done first. He doesn't really need to reload. Between your faith and my Glock 9mm, I take my Glock. <laughs> Amen to that. Anybody else? Oh joy. Chrysalids and a berserker. And they're all bunched up. Well, Joey's completely stuck. That's nice. He's not getting out of there anytime soon. I could launch an acid grenade. Who's gonna hit three? Here's the problem. I'm going to have to fire an acid grenade. Otherwise, I will not have the damage output to deal with all of these guys. At the same time, it's going to lock Joey in a position where he doesn't really want to be. Because of the acid. There's no way I can hit all four of them without hitting Joey. Okay. This position then. This will also screw up my blade storms. Because my blade storms simply cannot get in there. Acid burn shredded one damage. Hmm. Actually, one of our rangers doesn't even care about these things. Piotr. He is invulnerable to acid. So let's put you over here. Let's rupture the big guy. The game is not really zoomed out far enough. There we go. He's down to three hit points. Now we need to start doing damage to the guys over here. Six damage. On reserves. Who's next? Next chrysalid. I really hope that my blade storms do not miss this time. If they do, we're in trouble. This one. Really happy I equipped that vest, by the way. Panzer. There's two of them left. And we have one action. 
Um, yeah. We can kill this guy. Gives me an action. And then park Enough. right next to one of these chrysalids. Oh shit. He's probably gonna go for the specialist. He's dead. What are you gonna do? Yep. Critical hit, 7 damage. Chrysalid poison. Okay, otherwise we're fine. Shelter got the kill. Well, you're gonna be stuck here for a while. Because we simply cannot progress through the acid just yet. Hold. You have a free reload, so you don't need to reload yet. Reload. Reload. <laughs> We're gonna be stuck here. He is standing by. The only one who can get through is Pyotr. Thanks to the acid vest or the um, hazmat vest. Free reload. Acid disappears in five turns or something like that. Or fewer. Okay, I'll go with fewer. Seems doable. We're about to enter the assassin's chamber. Locked and loaded. And we gotta be ready for that. Already there. Got it covered. Locked and loaded. That's a good idea. Ready up. Alright. Everybody get on the platform. The Iceman cometh! On your order. Got it. No problem, boss. Here we go. Well done, Menace One Five. See you on the other side. Second part of the mission coming right up. This time, one on one against the assassin. Well, mostly. It really depends on who else she decides to join, or who decides to bring him in. So we might not be entirely alone for this one. I feel like the further you get into the game, the longer the loading seems to take. Initially it's snapshot, it's just instant, but after a while it starts getting back to the standard levels of XCOM loading. Alright, roll here. We're in the belly of the beast now, people. Proceed carefully. Roger that. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the Chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. And we're here to blow it up. Even now, you push ahead, XCOM. Undaunted in your task. A Contact. For your race. More chrysalids. Why are you so happy with chrysalids? Really? Adjusting sights. Yeah, I suggest you do so. Just make sure you do it in ahead of the mission next time around. Uh, Attila, day. take point. Blade storms up front. More of a guarantee than anything else, these blade storms, because I'm hoping that I can put them down right now. But you never know. So they're my safety. One down. I get it, right? Weapons burning ammo fast. Got it. Daniel. He's down to one hit point. 
Claire, that's your cue because you have a stock. Even if you miss, you hit. But you don't miss. Okay, so that was another light patrol dealt with. Let's keep pushing on that sarcophagus. Okay. It's a pretty low ground map. I don't really have all the cover that I would like. Moving to position. No problem, boss. Yes. We're gonna take this slow and we're gonna take these with overwatches. Nothing there. Guess who? At last, a true battle. You have done well, XCOM. Know that you have earned a good death. Okay, what are her stats? Takes additional damage from 3 plus attacks in a single turn. That is easy. Additional damage from Reapers. I don't have any of those. Watchful. Can enter Overwatch upon ending their turn. Immune to explosives and does not trigger Overwatch. Okay. So where are you? Since she's immune to Overwatches, I'm going to hunker down. Nice night for a walk. Well, that's subjective. And I also need to take into account that she has a rather annoying area of effect attack. Hunker down. Hunker down. Hunker down. <laughs> Not that hunker down does a whole lot against her. But every bit helps, just not enough. Daring just took a six hit point hit. And he, she conjured up two troopers. <laughs> Chop right blind to the blade storm. That's one. The other one wouldn't come as well? No. Just one. And she's making a break for it. And going on Overwatch. Nasty shit right there. Um, we're gonna park you right next to the Chosen. You can already see where she is because there's one tile that I cannot use. Piotr. How are you doing, girl? Dead eye. That definitely hurt. Poisoned, down to eight hit points. We need to get you back online. Come on, Daring. I should have let his bond mate do this. You've come for your friend. An honorable, if not foolish decision. Where's Mother Ranger? Panzer. Panzer can rush in here. Come on! And Enough talk. preferably wipe out the assassin instantly. Gotcha. Okay. Now we still have two troopers to deal with. Come on. Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of sixty hit points on that sarcophagus. This is exactly why I wanted to have the capability of using rupture. This is why. Because it's going to help a lot. On the move. Let's see if we can take this one out. Your stock only does one? Yeah. Oh, Claire, not a moment to miss. That is not good. No. You got that part right. Alright, we're going to have to run and gun. 
And just neutralize this guy. The problem is that the other guy still has too many hit points. He still has eight. It's too much for my blade storm to handle in one go. I could fire an acid grenade. I think it's a bit too much. Um, Attila. Clara's not going to be able to hit him. Well, Joey might be able to hit him. This does put Daniel significantly at risk. 71. Combat protocol? 4. Combined with Blade Storm, that should be enough. Should be. Uh, oh, actually, we can run and gun you. Yeah, that would fix everything. Run and gun. I'm trusting you here. That was deadly. Advanced hair trigger. Yes, please. You are mine now. You belong to me. Shit. Berserker. 18 hit points beamed in. Is that the only one? Nope. A second berserker. You have got to be shitting me. Blade Storm. See, this is why I don't mind investing in Blade Storm. It is so handy. The thing is, I'm not really looking for the Blade Storm. I want to get this device done. I want to get it hit and hurt and damaged. Um, we're going to have to move away from the Berserker and hope that he's going to come to me. Rupture the device. 14 damage right there. Wildman. At least not have these guys so close together. Um, we could use dual strike. But Joey's a bit too far away. Joey cannot hit the sarcophagus at this point. Um... Reload first, that's a free one. This is going to do significant damage, just not enough. He's down to one. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering if we can take this guy down, but he probably has too many hit points for one attack. Unless... You can hit him. You can. How about a dual strike? It means it's a free action for Joey down there. And he's gonna hollow paint him first. If he does. There we go. Right into her face. That must be nasty. Alright, aftermath. Get rid of the berserker. That's one down. Joey, get the other one. Berserker's out of play. And now we have Panzer. We can use him to fire right at that sarcophagus. Seven damage. That thing has hit points for days. As you can see, the assassin's gonna respawn in only a few turns. Oh, crap. Really? Let me guess, we're going to see two of these as well? Yes, no. No. That's a priest. If this hit meter hits 100, the assassin's going to come back in. So you can keep doing rounds after round after round, just dealing with the assassin time and time again. 
for now. Let's first shred your armor. That's most of his armor shredded. He's down to three hit points. Mm, I would like you to use combat protocol. Where's that priest? Priest? Where you at? There. Okay, so you're right in his line of fire. That's fine. Move over there. Attila, you don't do particularly significant amounts of damage against that, but you do. Seven to nine. I thought it was ruptured, though. Apparently not enough. Alright, attack it. That knocked him out. Of course, he reboots as a suit. Now the question is, can I either hack it, or can I shut it down? That's not enough damage. Haywire. Try not to break this one. If we can shut it down, that would help, but it's only postponing the inevitable. We cannot... No, we cannot even reliably shut it down. Okay, so we cannot use that as a guaranteed action. Combat protocol on then. I am putting Joey at a bit of risk there, I know. And I'm not sure if I can rely on his blade storm for enough damage. Maybe. What I'm gonna try and do is put Attila right out in the open. He's gotten a kill, I think. I think it classes as a kill. Aftermath. You just one tile short of flanking this guy. This thing has 31 hit points left. Um, I find the Andromedon a bit more dangerous than the other one. Priests are annoying, mostly. Beautiful. That's them done. I actually have an extra move, but you're not in pla or you're not untouchable. I so need to keep that in mind. Claire, Overwatch. Do you have the one? No. I was hoping that she would have the Overwatch, which triggers. Jesus. Good morning. Oh, just an officer. He's easy. I was hoping that she would have the Overwatch that could trigger twice, but just once. Look at that. He's down to seven. Give me another easy enemy, please. Yep, that's easy enough. Mechs are annoying if you let them fire. Otherwise, they're pretty doable. Do you take the bait? Mind control? I think not. I believe you don't do mind control. <laughs> not with a mind shield on top of you. Okay, so this sarcophagus is not going to be killable in one go. We're going to have to hit him again. Let's go for the mech first then. Shred some armor. Knock his overwatch off. That's one. Can I reliably kill the officer? Maybe. That's a big maybe. Not enough. Maybe I should just hit him with a standard attack. Reload. Every kill is a kill. Should have used that first and then come in with the blade storm. Um, I need that mech out of play. Well, if you say so. I 
can't have him fire off his weapon. Those grenades. They're too deadly. Joey? Joey's almost completely out of willpower. Right. Next. Fatal. Fatal's gonna be able to get there. But that's just about all he can do. Still, the priest would have to run away. Maybe run into another blade storm or two. I think he's gonna fall back the other way. Then. Hello! She's back. There's one blade storm. Chop. Next. Please. Nope, didn't get him. Stasis. Well, if that's all that you're gonna do, I'm not worried. Hmm. <laughs> Easy. Alright. He's gonna get put into stasis, but when he comes out of stasis, he's gonna get hit by the blade storm, so he's fine. Now, the assassin ran off somewhere over there. Okay, I think. Where is she? I need line of sight. I still don't have her. Oh, there she is. Hello. You nasty little creature. Well, I suppose little is subjective. Um, you're out of actions. Daring. Three attacks and she takes additional damage, although this could kill her if I'm lucky. <laughs> she comes back, she goes down. And once again, the device is vulnerable. At this point, though, I might have one uninterrupted attack on the sarcophagus. Oh, Daniel, Captain Rank. Yeah, no shit. What do you think I'm up to? Aftermath, we're gonna have to reload. I need an attack on that beacon. It's still halfway through its hit points. 31 out of 60. Come on. 26. Aftermath, get closer. We're gonna be seeing two new spawns very, very soon. Like, next turn. His stasis is done. My damage dealers are over there. What do we have? Please make it an easy... Oh, not that. Not a spectre. He's now our top priority. And... Lucky number two. A second spectre. These guys are immune to overwatch, by the way. So I don't have to rely on those things to get damage done. This is gonna be good. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, Sunshine. What? Shot wide. What is it with the blade storms lately? He's gonna try for the mind control again. On the guy who cannot be mind controlled thanks to the mind shield. <laughs> good luck with that. That's not happening. Okay. Where are my assets? <clears throat> One of them needs a reload. Still a free reload, fortunately. Might be able to knock away his cover. Yep, that makes him more vulnerable. Claire, you're gonna be able to get a flank shot on this guy. Let's use it. This one, please. 
critical hit, down to nine. Sorry, down to four, actually. Joey, I'm going. finish him off. No, not that one. This one. And he goes right off the platform. Not too shabby. Daring. Down to four. I just think my guys are not in a position that's going to be good enough to hit him. Well... No, probably not. Let's just try Attila. I'll be back. Full head flank. Just get there, buddy. It's a 90. I like 90. Do you like 90? No! Dude. Really? You son of a bitch. Indeed. We take no prisoners here. I'm going to put you up here so that if something spawns right next to you, you might be able to use Blade Storm on it right away. And it works. If Blade Storm can hit this guy, though, I'm not sure about that. Mm, yep, it does. Oh, knocked him out. Good. There's another one. Berserker. I might have to go for the Mimic Beacon, because as soon as I can destroy that sarcophagus, the assassin's out of action. He's gonna go for Daniel. Probably trying to make a copy of it. Yep, Shadowbound. I need to find out where the Spectre is going. The copy is annoying. But I can deal with the copy. Oh, that's not a good spot, buddy. That is not a good spot. Because I can still wreck your ass over there. Attila, reload. I might be able to kill him, and then have Untouchable kick in. And then the Berserker comes in and tries to attack Attila, which he won't be able to do. That's him down. Consider that a divorce. <laughs> one way of looking at it. Get the sarcophagus. Seven. Extra move available. Let's go in for the cuddle. Um, talking of cuddles, we could get this guy killed off right now. Not going to take any chances. I need you to hold where you are. Wildman, more damage. Almost. We might be able to get it this turn. It's going to depend on his damage roll. If you score a 5... Yes, we got him. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes. The regeneration process has been interrupted. Okay. On the capacitor Here she comes again. And let's target that chosen with everything we've this got. time around... She, oh, lucky. Stunned. This time around, she's completely vulnerable. The question is, where are you hiding? Not there. She spawned somewhere. Possibly invisible. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Where are you? Not over there. I need to find her. You cannot kill what you cannot see. In position. We're green to go. Covering. Roger, Come on, assassin. Come out to play one more time. Here she is. 
Ouch. I need to start keeping an eye on the hit points of my guys, because at this point, it's getting a bit risky. She hits him again, he's dead. I will not lose a lieutenant on this mission. Where are you heading off to? Oh, you think it's a good idea? Yeah, not really. Banzer. It's unfortunate Panzer doesn't have a bond mate, otherwise I could have knocked her out right now. Because aside from him, there's nobody in a good position to fire at her. Because I'm not going to take any chances. Well, okay, we're going to take some chances here. Shelter her right out in the open. If this hits, it kills her for good. It's a 63. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to see. Goodbye, assassin. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. See, that's what I like about her. She went out in fashion. Not this bad sport, but she's a good sport. I mean, she lost, and now she's rooting for us. Let's take a photo. What's with the red lighting effects, though? Well done, everyone. No deaths on this one, except for a lot of dead aliens. And promotions, by the way. I think we saw a promotion for Daniel. Maybe Claire, if we're lucky. And at least our A-team's out of action for... Well, maybe a good week. Just getting back on their feet, either in the infirmary or getting drinks in the bar because they're so damn tired. To return us to the chaos of the old world, only together can we oppose them. United in the elders' love for us, we shall prevail, no matter the cost. Not really, though, did they? Prevailing. For sure now that the chosen can be Whew. taken out permanently. Gravely wounded. Rodriguez wounded. Daniel wounded. Lord wounded. Fatal. Well, he is not fatally wounded, but you get my meaning. Captain. Volatile mix or chain shot. Chain shot is very handy. Chain shot takes an aim penalty of 15 points, but if you hit him, you hit him again. And this pretty much gets neutralized by the hollow targeting. See, this is going to cost me 15, and this is going to neutralize the 15. So if I have the aim bonuses, it doesn't matter. Because I hit him once, I paint him, and then I hit him again. So it's going to work ridiculously well. Then, we have our next untouchable ranger. And we have our next major. and specialist rank. Ever Vigilant or Guardian. Ever vigilant, all actions on moves and you get automatic overwatch, or this is one that I want. If you fire an overwatch shot and you hit, there's a 50% chance that you will fire at him again. And this is what we get. We get the Assassin's Arashi, which is their shotgun, and their katana. We cannot use them just yet. We need to research them first, but these weapons are 
just game changers. You're going to see that in one of the future episodes. Chrysalis researched, or a chrysalis unlocked. Mental fatigue starts to oh, he's shaking. Soldiers tactical effectiveness well, don't I don't blame him. Rest. He just single-handedly saved the squad several times. So if he's shaken and out of action for 15 days, I don't blame him. Still, I thought we had an engineer in the infirmary. We do. Okay, so still, he's going to be taking two weeks off. Well, well deserved as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, that's another one hour episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the fight down below, and I'll see you soon for next episodes.